Which one? Fucking all of them are cracked, but... All of them? They're all cracked. Oh, that fuck. One. Damn, Damien, 24. you fucked up. Look at that hole. Looks good, don't it? I already got the motor pulled out. Cracked right there. Damn. Every single one. Hold on, it won't focus on it. Hey, you can't really tell. Crack. Tiny little crack on there. There's like a glare. Can't see it. Crack on there. Two of them have holes. Well, this is definitely the one that made all the oil come out. And that one too. Oh yeah, no, that one's pretty bad too. Fuck. Cast pistons. Well, you got the motor ripped out pretty fast though. Yeah. Already on it. a little bit and put forge piston in and send it. Get her all fixed up. Yep. Hopefully don't blow it up this time on the dyno again. Probably will. <laughs> Damn, that's a fucking gnarly hole. So what, did it just melt it then? Yeah, it just melted. Got too hot. Too much time, probably. It's that high compression boost life. Too much shit. It's like 12, 12 to 5. That was, a, that was a risk you were willing to take. 400 horsepower, I should've done it, but you know. Oh well. PFI today. Hey, Naz is RX7 on the dyno right now. See how much it puts down. Then once he's done with that, we'll see if we'll put the MR2 on there. See what it does. Don't think my MR2 is going to do very well because my clutch is definitely slipping. But still want to put it on the dyno and see. Expecting more, huh? No, I just don't think the tune's right on it. No? No. Uh, okay, one more horsepower. <laughs> Two thirty seven. Oh, RX seven makes two hundred and thirty seven horsepower. I honestly, I thought it was gonna make more. It sounded pretty rowdy. Uh, just that tranny, I think. I think that tranny just robs a lot of power. Yeah, that is through an auto. I should have got a T56 too. Shoulda, coulda. Maybe I'll get one. Hey, but that's at least 300 foot pounds of torque. Maybe you'll convert it to a manual. Nope. That'd be badass. So they're getting this one unstrapped right now. Gonna put the MR2 on the dyno. And turns out it had dual wastegate springs in there, so I don't know what that was rated at, but it was definitely way too much for the clutch because I was spinning it on the way up here. Yeah, now so, we have 50 PSI in there, it's gonna send. Yep, 50 PSI, we'll be good. <laughs> but we definitely took one of the springs out, and so it's probably like an eight PSI now, or something, maybe six, we're not sure, we'll see what it makes. But that stock clutch definitely does not hold much power, so that's gonna be the limiting factor for today but still want to see how much it makes. It looks so great. <laughs> looks like a car broken down on the side of the road. <laughs> oh my God, the seatbelts are great. Woo! <laughs> These are like the most unsafe seatbelts since like 1980. Oh yeah, they always get fucking They caught. got banned because people get trapped yeah, when they wreck. if you look out the window and it like fucking catches your neck. I don't know. I've 
never used the lap belt on the wagons before. Oh, I'm gonna send it because I wanna be safe. I know it even says right up here to use it for your safety. <laughs> Make sure to use it so you die. The cool thing about this is you can go wheeling. Yeah. Doubles as a race car and a Jeep. And a Jeep. <laughs> oh yeah, God. God, this is great. spring we put in is only making 3 psi. Where's it at? Yeah, 2.6 psi. We need a bigger 2.9 was the peak. So we need to shut it off and get a different spring in it. But there feels like good that time. So to try to add more boost, we just put a T in between the gate and the turbo and I'll let some boost come out of that and hopefully make more psi cuz that's really hot and I do not want to try to take it apart to change the spring out right now. So we'll see how much that adds. and that T brought it from three pounds to five PSI. So I think we're gonna have to add a little more. I mean, the clutch is holding, so it's only 227 wheel. I'm trying to make a little more PSI, the air fuels look pretty good that time. So, probably put another T in there real fast. Well, it definitely made more boost. Started to run away right there. Yeah, I let out because it ran away. Two fifty-eight. Not bad. I think I'm gonna call it good there, just because that stock clutch ain't gonna hold this. So yep. we'll bring it back when the clutch is upgraded. But I'm happy with that for now. That's eight psi. Air fuels look good. I wasn't expecting anything crazy anyway, but that should be fun. Yeah, cam zero. Look pretty decent. Just take some fuel out on the top and it probably just needs a little more like right in the middle. Like right when it starts to get into boost, it was like 12 twos. And then once it got maybe over 55, 6,000, it was like 10, 11. What kind of fuel is it on? Just on 91. It's on 91? Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
on No, I'm not even on E85 right now. Fucking <laughs> guy. All right, so Brent just played with my tune a little bit. I was gonna stop there, but he did some changes and yeah, he's right master over, over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he messed with it a little bit. And then we also put some different plugs in there because I had some stock plugs that were not gas correctly at all. So we're gonna see if it makes any more power. And the clutch is still holding, so that's good. It does that sometimes. JDM. The starter, starter gets a little stuck up. You guys get it? Working on it. Do you even know what you're doing over here? No. Okay. I just look like I know what I'm doing. Dude, as long as it don't blow up with you tuning it, so then you know what you're yet. doing. I'll turn it on. So I believe in you. So wait till it's in third. See if it can hold 288 on the street. We'll see what that clutch does. But it was definitely making like a lot on those dual springs. I think it was like 14 PSI combo. And now it's on eight pounds. On eight pounds? Yeah, eight PSI. It's a good place to start. <laughs> we'll bring it back when I get a different clutch. You got that high dollar boost control in it. Yep. <laughs> two, two vacuum tees. Makes exactly eight pounds. And it works. Brent gave it his magic touch and now she runs. Great. It's awesome. Did you? Oh. Well, I did it again. <laughs> I'm going to use the clip I did because I don't care what you film. <laughs> All right, let's go for a rip. I'm down. We have to go drive it down to Mexico, though. Yeah, it's like so yeah. low. You can see the AN or the holes in the back. <laughs> Just barely covered. What size is this? 10? Yeah, 10 gallon. eBay? Yep. I love it. It works. <laughs> Sounds good, dude. Yeah. It's not too loud either. Remember when we first drove it that one night we thought the axles were all fucked? Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> and there's the motor mount? No, it was the <laughs> sway bar. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. Gear breaks up a tiny bit though. But fuck it. Just made it back in the MR2. So she put down 288 to the tires. And I know that's not that much, but that's really all that stock clutch can hold. It's already starting to slip at only 288 horsepower. So I definitely need to upgrade the clutch before I can turn this thing up at all, which I will be doing hopefully soon because those are some rookie numbers. We need to crank this thing up for sure. But that is what it makes right now. It is still a fun, quick little car, but that's where we stand until I get a new clutch. And it does break up a little bit 
at the top of second and third gear. Not sure what's going on. It should have plenty of fuel, so I'm not sure what it's doing, but it kind of sputters really high up in the RPM. I'm sure we can tune that out once I put it back on the dyno with a new clutch that can actually hold some power, but I'm pretty happy with it for now. It's running and driving just fine. Everything seems good. So definitely need to get a clutch in there and we'll be going back to the dyno and turning her up for sure.